I didn't mean to startle you. Um, I'm one of the nurses. I kind of just came in here to check on you and do my daily protocol and stuff. No, 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 it's nothing invasive or anything like that. I'm just here to do a little check up on you. Make sure things are going okay. Make sure you don't have any new injuries or anything like that. How are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? I would hope so. You're very, very lucky to be alive. But I bet you're not exactly happy to hear that sentence, are you? I mean, after all, you stabbed yourself in the stomach. Out of all the ways to go, you have to have some massive balls to try something like that. And it's so strange to me, too. I mean, you were missing for so long. That Naomi girl, she kidnapped you. And you finally attack her. You finally kill her. But then you turn the knife on yourself? You have to be the stupidest victim I've ever seen. Maybe it was a case of Stockholm Syndrome or something. What, did you fall in love with her? Oh. So you realize you had feelings a little too late. Maybe you should have established that before you shoved a blade into her. But... We don't have time to worry about that. I have to check up on you. Now then, tilt your head back. I'm just gonna check a little something really quick. Come here. Now then, be really careful. Just sit up a little bit. I'm going to shine a light in your eyes and make sure it follows. Make sure you don't have any slow reactions to anything. Hmm. Everything seems fine now. I'm going to check your heartbeat. All right. Now, I'm going to check your ears really quick. Hmm. Okay. Now then, I'm going to move these sheets really quickly. And examine your legs and stuff. Oh, your cuts? Um, you had some injuries and whatnot. Yeah, but you don't have to worry. We're taking good care of you. I mean, it may take some time, but you'll be good to go. You don't have to worry your pretty little head about it. Alright? Now then, um, do you need anything? Any food? Any drinks? Maybe some company? Cause I have no problem spending the night in here if you want me to. I'll totally just stay here if it's okay with you. <laughs> um, nothing. I'm just... Worried, that's all. 
I saw the fuss people made about you and trying to find you and I just want to make sure that I do my job properly and that I take good care of you. Is that okay? Me staying the night? Alright. I'll sit over here. Don't worry. You can go to sleep if you want to. You don't have to stay awake. Go to sleep, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Absolutely, everything will be fine. Just relax. It'll be fine. Go to sleep. Are you sleeping? Hello? <laughs> wow. He fell asleep really fast, didn't he? glad to hear that you're recovering and stuff. I thought you'd be here a little longer. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Don't overstress yourself. I already told you before. You look a little tired. Maybe it's this morphine they're giving you. Oh, it does make you tired. That's understandable, of course. It does make you a little drowsy. Hmm, you're lying. Seems like there's a little something wrong with your leg, sweetie. What do you mean? How do you not see it? This is what's wrong with your leg. Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Is your leg okay? I think one of your... Oh, it's me. Broken. Doctor! Uh, I don't know where the doctor is. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a knife in here. I suggest you be quiet when he gets in here, or I'll do worse than break your leg. Understood? overlooked one of his injuries. He told me his leg is hurting and there's bruising and stuff. I think his leg might be broken. Yeah, um, you told me you've been feeling this pain for a few days, right? The doctor, he said he's been feeling it for a few days and the bruising just started recently. Keep him a little longer now? Oh. Such a shame. Such an absolute shame. Oh. Okay, doctor. Um, go ahead and do your surgery on that patient. I'll keep an eye on him, don't worry. Yeah, it'll be fine. Well then, where were we? I'm surprised you didn't open your little mouth. You seem to have a problem of talking too much. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to spend a little more time with you. Despite the method I chose to do that. And don't worry. Like I said earlier, I'll take good care of you. 
doesn't matter if I caused it or not. I said I'll take care of you. Okay? Don't worry your pretty little head. I'm serious. Don't worry. You seem so scared. <laughs> Very interesting. This knife, on the other hand. I wonder what else I can do to you to make your stay a little longer. Maybe a few weeks. Maybe a few months. Maybe I'll put your ass in a coma and make it easier. <laughs> Aww. Don't be scared, baby. I'm just trying to protect you. That girl Miyomi didn't know what she was doing. She was being crazy and selfish and just trying to keep you all for herself. Imagine. See, I'd never do the stuff to you that she did. I'd never isolate you and hurt you like she did. That's not what love is. I'd protect you and take good care of you. Don't worry. I promise. I absolutely promise that I'll take good care of you. I won't hurt you. Unless you give me a reason to. Understood? I'd hope you do understand. Because if you don't, I'll be doing some things to hurt you. <laughs> now then, I'm gonna go get me something to eat and something to drink. Don't you dare move from this bed. And don't you dare tell anyone what I just told you, or you will regret it. Understood? Good! Now, let's get something in your system so that you'll be happy and healthy.